There are a lot of tilting video games nowadays. Yes! 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 But for me, the award for the most irritating of them all goes to Rust. No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Fuck! If you die without the bag, you lose all your progress. To have some security for your loot, you have to make a base, which is easier said than done for most players. There is no tutorial, help or easy mode. If you don't have hundreds or even thousands of hours in the game, you are going to die, a lot. And those who haven't played it might ask, how do you win at this game? You don't. The goal in Rust is to survive, but other than that, there is no straight answer. Typically people play it to gain as much loot as possible to raid other players' bases and gain enough resources to raid some more. For that reason, Rust is very challenging. In most cases, you want to kill everyone you see to take everything they have. People tend to play in groups to gain an advantage and gather as much loot and resources as possible to make the gameplay easier. But there is one player who entirely changed the way the game is played. So sit back, relax, and welcome to Rust. Wiljum plays solo. That means, every time he dies, he dies. There is no one to pick him up or help with large groups. For most people, that sounds like torture. For him, it sounds like Monday. On February 12, 2018, he started his YouTube channel. And at first, he posted base designs, because that was his favorite thing to do. But it all changed at the start of 2020, when he uploaded his first solo survival video. Being a base builder isn't easy when you have 500 players ready to shoot you in the head. But Wiljum didn't care about that. His goal was to produce content based on his favorite activity, and the way he did it is truly unique. What a cozy start to this journey. His idea was to play his way in order to achieve his goals. He didn't engage in big raids, 5v1 PvPs or big monument runs. He just farmed and he took his viewers with him. Watching Wiljum play is different from your typical Rust experience. See, most Rust YouTubers focus on high-tier gameplay. They produce content doing hard monuments like oil rig or cargo ship, raiding and killing as much people as possible. It's fast-paced and chaotic, but players are not forced to do anything. Because the game has no clear goal, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Rust does not prevent you from doing anything. This is the life, man. I just... That's what I love about this game, you can just play it however the hell you want. Like some people are out there grinding rig right now, doing cargo, and I'm just, <laughs> just chilling with my fishing rod, having a blast. So when Wiljum needs wood or stone, he farms, when he needs low grade, he kills animals, and when he needs scrap, he destroys barrels or does small, efficient runs on whatever monument he has close by. But don't get me wrong. <laughs> Oh, that guy just got sat down. He definitely can PvP and do all the things other YouTubers are doing, as he showed in many featured videos, but that's not the main focus of his channel. He shows the side of Rust that was deemed boring by the community, because that's just how he likes to play the game. Wiljum is a chilled guy, he doesn't want to tilt at the game and raise people for the highest tier loot, he's just vibing. His bases are solid and hard to raid on the outside, but on the inside they are cozy, filled with barracks, lamps, and even hitters if he feels like it. Wiljum has also greatly impacted how the game is played and changed people's perspective on soloing. It doesn't have to be an excruciating experience, he doesn't play to get as rich as possible. He sets realistic goals based on his knowledge and skill. The slight change in perspective changes the game from a struggle to an adventure. Building a base is not an objective to store your loot, it's a pleasure because you're fulfilling a vision set before the wipe. I don't play as well as Wiljum, I don't even have a thousand hours. I've been mainly focused on League of Legends and I can't shoot very well. For that reason, playing Rust has been one of the most frustrating experiences of my gaming life. Since I discovered Wiljum's channel, I'm not focused at the best start, getting lots of guns and blowing all my neighbors up. I set realistic goals like setting up electricity or a hemp farm. It takes time, but my wipes have been much more pleasant. What oh, heats up? I'm not sure I'm gonna need that in the desert, but I mean... Oh! A bear rug! Amazing. Best thing in the game. When other players are sweating, he is building houses with hemp farms. When they are doing oil, he sells orty or enjoys a view from a mountaintop, and his viewers love him for it. You always know what's going on on the screen, even if you don't play Rust. The tone of his videos is always chill, it's accompanied by relaxing music, and his videos are mostly posted on Sunday evenings, so the best time to loosen up before a tough week. From being a small YouTuber to now having over 800,000 subscribers, he didn't change one bit. When others are doing this, he 
Maybe he's doing that. I've just had a thought. I could use netting to go up the base. I... <gasps> That's so cool. I've never used netting before in all my hours. But I finally found a use for it. Tree houses. Who would have thought? That's so cool. So if you are looking for a different view on the most frustrating game ever, Wilgem is your guy. On YouTube he made over 100 million views. He recently also started streaming more on his Twitch channel and by just having a good time in his favorite video game, he gained close to 150,000 followers and his channel is growing by the minute. His community is one of the best out there. People are almost always positive in his comments, supporting him in his dream. He creates videos for people to relax and they are grateful for it. To me, that's something special. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe so I know to keep making videos like this one.